sadly analog uh, film material has uh, gelatin in its uh, film emulsion and therefore um, embarking on a mission uh, to create vegan film material. I'm by no means an expert in uh, film emulsion but my collaborator filmmaker Esther Orlos is. Uh, next week uh, we're gonna be at Worm for five days and try to create some vegan film material. So today, 4th of May, uh, March, we did a first tryout making a silver bromide black and white emulsion with uh, PVA, polyphenol alcohol. And um, we tried not to make too much emulsion, silver is expensive. And because it was the first tryout and immediately we found some, we got into some troubles because the PVA didn't want to dissolve that easily in water. So we checked it on the internet and it seems that it had to soak in water overnight. So, um, and we also find by coating we had to coat with a brush. We coat about um, almost 30 meters of clear film with a brush and it could be that because not all the PVA was dissolved we found a lot of clutters of PVA at the end and that the emulsion, the silver bromide emulsion will not stick to, to the clear film. We try again tomorrow. And uh, on this moment we're actually having two pots of water and PVA soaking. So this morning we started with um, uh, the magnetic stirrer to, to see if the PVA would dissolve in water. We heated it up till 90 degrees and had it stir for practically half a day. Uh, in the meantime, we cut all the dried. It did dry overnight, our first tryout of coating. We did test if it was uh, developable, if it would develop. We also made new developer first, D97. And we developed a little piece of the yesterday coated PVA emulsion. Uh, a few seconds it got immediately black we could even fix it it was very fragile if you touched it but as long as you didn't touch it it was fine uh, we hang it to dry this test and as soon dry it was not fragile anymore and could be touched then we started to prepare all the um, coated film pieces and we filmed on it but it seemed it had some light overnight maybe caused by me and um, we developed it it came out rather thin in both in blackness as in um, coating we don't know it's now drying and then we prepared a new batch of uh, emulsion with PVA and uh, the PVA wasn't dissolved still I think only one third was dissolved uh, we tried to shred it through a, a, a tea stainer into um, solution A it's potassium bromide and as soon done, we added the silver nitrate solution to, the, to A in, in red light. We let it heat for on 70 degrees for around 15 minutes and then started coating. We coated with the coating device, the matte box, and we were also able to coat around 12 pieces of clear film. The coating device coated, coated really evenly but as soon hanging it looked like 
the emulsion was dripping off. But we only know that tomorrow. Interesting part was that at one point, after coating around 8 to 10 pieces of clear film, the emulsion started to set, to get thick. We were still able to coat around three other pieces of film, but it really got a structure of children's glue. So we only know tomorrow morning how it comes out. So today we made a print test with the second emulsion PVA emulsion batch and we used a kind of standard black and white negative to print it to the dried film emulsion from yesterday um, because the weather is too bad to film with it and after developing in D97 again, three minutes, two minutes, three minutes fix. Everything was black, so the film emulsion is fogged. And it could be that the sensitizers are for did fog the, the emulsion, but um, so we made a new batch, batch number three, PVA emulsion. And we used very basic ingredients, only silver nitrate and potassium bromide. That's the most simple black and white emulsion you can make. It will have a very low aza, and but there is no sensitizers in it that it could fog. So tomorrow we're going to do a new test, and due to the weather we're going to print again. And if this test is still fogged, so the film is black, then there is something else a problem, of course. Um, I also found out that while making this emulsion today, so the PVA emulsion with just silver nitrate and potassium bromide, um, that the silver halide didn't dissolve that good with the PVA solution. Today we also use a PVA solution instead of PVA um, um, in a hard form. So we're hoping for the best. I think that's it for today. So today, today because uh, yesterday I found out uh, uh, patterns from uh, December 63, 1963 of uh, a recipe on uh, PVA emulsion um, because the new one we made again got fogged and I didn't understand why so we checked the silver nitrate we're using and it seems it has a problem never heard of it um, I thought silver nitrate had a eternal life uh, anyway we changed the silver nitrate and we did a quick test again and it seemed okay a little pepper stain so if it has pepper stain it could mean that there is a little segregation but just using a lot of amount a huge amount of um, um, PVA solution of 50% and almost no water at least um, got rid of the problem that it didn't dissolve that well and that I had clumps of emulsion also so that was gone and it could also change the amount of pepper stain so today we did the last batch number four batch number four according to the recipe of what we found in the patterns uh, it's now coated with both brush and a little with the coating machine of Kevin and uh, we will develop this tomorrow uh, as a little test first and then go out we tested this emulsion already on the spoon we saw pepper stain but it wasn't totally fogged so that's good. 
so let's hope for the best. Today we only tested the, the fourth batch of emulsion, the one we tried to with, with the um, 63 recipe. It was not fogged, we knew that already yesterday, so we filmed on it with a Bolex camera. There was something happening, we filmed it with a Bolex on speed 12 and in very sunny weather there was hardly an image but it looked like something happened like there was a kind of frame lying around at one port part but it was so minimal and um, luckily I thought like maybe it's just still totally underexposed so to have a more overexposed image um, we did longer exposure times by using the animation part of a Bolex. So you just put it on time and then expose for well around one second, holding the button for one second. We did that. We did a small piece, like three meters, and there was a clear image. So we're celebrating <laughs> and uh, we did a new test. Again, longer exposure, and there was again an image. There is grey, there is black in this image. Um, of course, it's not totally sharp due to one second of frame by frame filming. It's hard to stand still for a whole second. And the other problem we still have to deal with it is basically coating is a problem. Sensitivity is a problem and the pepper stain is a problem. So if we solve those, if I wouldn't know why not use PVA. The, the thing with handmade emulsion, it's, it's rather rough because um, if you deal with small amounts of making emulsion, um, a, a 0 0.1 grams off or 0 0.01 grams off, on a tiny amount of, of silver is of course much bigger than 0 0.01 of in a huge amount of silver and um, so there are a lot of irregular things happening and happy mistakes happening and what I like about handmade emulsion there are so many things that go can go wrong but always in a kind of controlled way because you know how it should work. If you need silver nitrate and, and salt, like potassium bromide, and those two components are the basis of making a black and white silver emulsion. But if um, things happening, like now with the PVA and coating, beautiful things can happen and you have to um, do something with those mistakes and those accidents happening. So we just spend the week in making happy mistakes or happy accidents. Yeah, anyway, I'm happy. We have an image.